yesterday. But, you know, boaters, heads up, we still could be talking a little bit about the chance of uh, water spout activities over the Great Lakes. So be careful out there. If you have boating activities, know that you, uh, you are, you know, going to be seeing that risk throughout today and even maybe into the weekend. That's because we have that cold air aloft. I know it's starting to feel a little better out there uh, today, but look at Wednesday, 23.8 degrees in Pearson. Uh, at Hamilton, it was 22.2. Very chilly for this time of year. St. Catharines at 20.2. They had some severe thunderstorms roll through there as well. Today, thunderstorm risk pretty much non-existent. We, uh, we have a little bit of activity through the eastern part of Ontario, but southwestern Ontario, you're in the clear. About 20 degrees this evening. Nice, partly cloudy, but certainly a little cooler than we'd all like. Of course, we're gearing up for the long weekend. We'll be talking about coming, talking about that coming up on the show. Ottawa, Montreal, we could uh, be seeing some non-severe thunderstorms throughout the day. We already have seen some pop up on the radar. And uh, the eastern township, severe thunderstorm warnings have been in place uh, on and off throughout that region today. I Isolated severe thunderstorms could be going on, and then down through the south, it's pretty much a, a very, very slim chance. But with any daytime heating this time of year, sometimes you can get a pop-up shower. All right, let's take you here. Yeah, it was uh, certainly uh, an active weather day. Wait for it. There we go. That's the sound that we all know. Joshua, thanks for sending that in. And just a reminder to everybody, too, that if you're taking video for us, we love it, firstly, but make sure you're safe to do so. Also, take your smartphone and put it horizontally because it looks a lot better on TV. So we can't thank you enough for all the fantastic video, Joshua, yours included. All right. Saskatoon, 27 degrees yesterday. Gorgeous out in the uh, western parts of Canada, 32 for Calgary. Warfield was a hot spot in the whole country. Look at Whitehorse, 12.3. Uh, so cooler air. There's a northerly wind going through uh, a lot of the north. In fact, a lot of the forest fire particulate matter, the smoke all being blown down towards the south and chilly temperatures. Now, because of the warm temperatures that I just showed you, we have that instability in the atmosphere today. So non-severe thunderstorm, pretty widespread. Better chance of hail than, say, tornadic storms because our winds are not favorable for storms that will start to uh, to spin. However, you could see some lightning, and that's exactly what we have coming up next. It's our time. We give you more than just a forecast. More insight, more expertise, more in-depth analysis. Watch for the science behind the weather every day at 25 past the hour and get more. Yes, covering active weather here at the Weather Network this afternoon. By the way, just at that top five lightning, I remember when Mark and I were in Kansas that day, major cloud to ground lightning around us. You do have to respect the power of Mother Nature, folks. And that's why today severe thunderstorm watches are in effect. We want to make sure you, you know, I know that this time of year it's like, oh, we've seen so many thunderstorms. Still have to take them very seriously, especially when you're uh, under severe thunderstorm warning. So Rocky Mountain House up through White Court, Edson, and Grand Cash. Uh, this is the area, though, I really want to focus on the 12 Riviera area, Quebec City, uh, down to Megantic and Sherbrooke. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning for the Richmond area, Sherbrooke area, including Beconcourt, Villaroy, uh, Victoriaville, Drummondville, Louisville, Shawinigan, St. Anne de la Parade, hopefully I'm saying those right, and uh, Trois Riviere area. Now, lightning kills up to about 10 people a year in Canada. So, yes, take this very seriously. Here's a look at our live radar. We're starting to see this sort of line out. This is a trough, so not really an organized area of low pressure, but enough energy to fuel some thunderstorms. We have lots of heat and humidity in, in the uh, areas of Quebec and also eastern Canada. So let's uh, talk a little bit about that heavy rain. That was the dark reds that you saw. All of this will be moving in to eastern Canada today, and we'll be watching it very closely on the, on the uh, radar. All right. We have lots more on the way, plus your long range. Go to the... All right, that's a live look at the radar. You just saw the top five reporter brushes with nature. I certainly have had a few myself. If you live in this area, in the Quebec uh, City area, you have a line of storms that's making its way northeast toward you. Trois Rivières just getting, uh, just, you know, hit with major downpours, likely some lightning. And that was my close call with nature was a lightning strike once when I was out storm chasing. Uh, Drummondville, Victoriaville, all of these storms, uh, still pushing over your region, especially if you live in Victoriaville. But Drummondville, you've seen the heaviest rain behind it is starting to clear. Watching a little bit of the discreet nature area of focus that we're going to really watch throughout the afternoon. Uh, severe thunderstorm watch is in effect, but those warnings for Richmond area, Sherbrooke, Beconcourt, uh, which just got hit with some major rent, rain too. Victoriaville, I mentioned, Nicolet, Drummondville, Louisville, Shawinigan, St. Anne de la Parade, and Trois-Rivières 
area. Uh, do take note. Now, we take you out west, same kind of deal. We are looking at non-severe thunderstorms. There is a severe thunderstorm watch for White Court, Edson, Grand Cache. Hannah had a cell that moved through earlier that uh, had a lot of energy and a lot of heavy rain and lightning. Let's show you this video. Clock. Um, it's kind of interesting to see, but uh, they're very dangerous, obviously. So the threat of lightning is out there today. Ten people a year are killed in Canada because of lightning. Temperatures certainly supporting thunderstorms. We have lots of convection taking place, 27 degrees in Saskatoon. Uh, Warfield, you are the hottest spot in Canada. We'll talk about maybe who saw the hottest temperatures right around the world. That's next with Kim. Cool. Uh, yeah, perfect for rafting, uh, shorts, T-shirts, not the case if you live in Ontario. Maybe you're wearing shorts and T-shirts, but it's been a little bit cool to do so on the West Coast. It's been nothing shy of amazing. By the way, that whitewater raft there, did you ever try that? That can be scary. I did that in the Ottawa Valley once. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. I was so scared. But anyway, exhilarating. 32 degrees in Calgary this afternoon with a humid X right around the same temperature. Abbotsford, you'll be feeling like about 32 and in Imo at about 30. Now, right across the prairies, we're looking at the chance for non-severe thunderstorms today. Notice the word hail. Why do we think hail as opposed to tornadic risk? It has everything to do with our winds in the atmosphere. If our winds are not changing direction and speed with height, we know that uh, thunderstorms can likely, likely just go up produce rain and go down. So they're not necessarily sustaining their uh, their updrafts and their lifespan. So you could see some good hail though, big hail. So be careful out there. Ottawa, Montreal, you're looking at some non-severe thunderstorms for you. In fact, we're watching them on radar all afternoon. For the latest on the warnings, keep it here at TWN. For your